Hello guys, this is Percy Game. Today we're gonna talk about Pucara, the first great culture of the Altiplano and the Southern Andes. Long before the Incan culture, a group of wise beings initiated the buildings of colossal constructions and established a society of multiple arts during an era that we now call the mother culture of the Altiplano. The Pucara culture reigned the Altiplano from 500 BC to 400 AD. These people defined the evolution of several subsequent societies of the Altiplano, among them the Tiwanaku culture in the present-day Bolivia and the Great Incan culture with its capital in Cusco. Etymologically, Pucare is a Quechua word that refers to the type of construction of many Andean temples. The modern town of Pucara is located 106 kilometers from the city of Puno. In the district of Pucara, the area is famous for its crops and pottery, especially for its distinguished toritos de Pucara or clay bulls that are a symbol of protection, happiness and fertility. To the north lies the rock of Pucara below the Pucaorco mountain. Between the two, one can appreciate a succession of terraces and retaining stone walls in the Step Pyramid, a style which is known as Calasaya, the main archaeological center of Pucara. In its interior are two types of buildings, a rustic one that was perhaps destined for the general population or for the urban sector, and the religious buildings used for sacred ceremonies. In one of its temples there are two squares, one dedicated to the Divine Feminine and the other the Divine Masculine. They represent the two forces of this physical world. Beneath the two squares are underground passages that were used to remind us of our connection to the most powerful deities of our spiritual world. In the town of Pucara resides the Lithic Museum of Pucara. Here we can observe a great collection of objects from the Pucara culture. There are many exceptional monoliths of stone sculptures that illustrate a deep connection with nature and the essence of the Andean cosmovision. There are beautiful representations of Andean iconography. Among them, there are fish, snakes, amphibians, felines, human beings and mythical beings. One of the most outstanding sculptures is that resembling a cosmic being, which represents a sacred deity for the Pucara people, a master with feline features representing the puma and the lake Titicaca, also known as Mamacocha in the native language. Another curious monolith is the Hatung or Decapitator, an extraordinary deity that holds in his left hand a severed head, and in the other holds a ceremonial knife. According to the ancient wisdom, this being was a master who taught the removal of the ego. In the museum we can also appreciate ceramics pertaining to the temple of Kalasaya, highlighting many zoomorphic and geometric figures. In present times, one of the more prominent features is the modern town of Pucara, is the colonial church of Santa Isabel, built in the year of 1767 by the Jesuits order. 
It has a Baroque style architecture that endured through several changes throughout its existence. It was declared a National Heritage Site in 1972. In this place, every 16th of July, the festival of La Virgen del Carmen, patron saint, is celebrated by its local inhabitants. The Pucara culture were highly advanced masters in hydraulic engineering and construction represented in its monoliths, dwellings, subterranean constructions and ceremonial centers. They also express a deep wisdom in their sculptures, textiles and ceramic techniques. This first great culture of the southern Andes went on to influence the cultures that followed in its footsteps, including the great Incan civilization. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it in all your social networks. See you in our next videos.